Heroes that can just get on top of him and just kill him. He goes really, really aggressive. Like he goes like all damage items. Like uh, snipers hardly ever go BKB, and they just want to get up that like mask of madness, uh, MJ, S and Y, Scotty, and then they're just told. almost like grounded for a period of time as well. But like you said, uh, sniper really Dying not. He's not worrying bad. about that. He just wants to pump out as much damage as possible. And I'm sure this is going to be no different for Secret. Is is Arteezy the sniper player though for Team Secret? I'm not sure. I haven't seen them play this hero yet, so it's it's intriguing to see where um, they're going to lane this. I think we'll have S4 yeah. and Panda, and then um, Zion will be that right, and then Poppy and Dazzle. So we're probably waiting on our Kuro here. Now, the second support coming through. Oh yeah, we actually haven't seen the Puppy Dazzle for some time, and he played this hero a lot for. I was like before DAC, maybe last season of Dota, but we saw a lot of Dazzle coming out as well. Dia team Pretty strong pick. here for him, and there's that clockwork for Team Empire. They know exactly how to catch out a sniper, so his job's going to be a bit more difficult. Plus, they have the line very good to blow up the sniper with Finger of Death, Vengeful Spirit with the swap. Really good positioning for Team Empire. I like the draft so far, but Team Secret, when you get Zai's Bat Rider, this guy goes off. S4's Brewmaster just as good, and like you said, they do need their Kuro here. What is it going to be? They have a, a they have a bit of time left here, and of course they have a lot of reserve time as well. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, I'm not really sure. I'm curious here. Here they have a lot of options. I think they Five need a bit more carry, um, like some more damage. Like they're totally depending on sniper for all their damage right now. So maybe like a visage reserve could be time. pretty good. What else is there? Witch Sky doctor. Maybe? Is Skyrath okay? Skyrath's okay, but I think more physical damage is what they really need. Especially okay. if they have, like, they're kind of going for physical damage with Dazzle. Like, they have the weave and the minus armor. Mm -hmm. I like Visage. Um, yeah, but we'll see. I'm not sure what the last pick is. Witch Doctor could be okay as well. Yeah, Witch Doctor, I think, would certainly be a fine pick for Kuroki. And the thing is, he plays, like, almost every hero, from what I, like... And not just in supports, obviously. We've we've seen him play carry for like that one that one month where Secret had their old roster and he played core. It was uh, it was pretty fun to watch him from time to time. But they have plenty so, of reserve time. Support Dusa. Uh, is that a thing? I don't know, man. That, that's you gotta not a thing. You gotta, you gotta shape the meta, man. You gotta be one step ahead. You gotta shape the meta with support Dusa. All right, let's go. Team no, they Empire's get him. He's probably me. most popular hero. At least the one that's known by in the Rubik. And then Team Empire go for the slaughter. Another hero with catch potential against the sniper with Blink and obviously the Slytherin Crush. A very aggressive kind of lineup here for Team Empire. But Secret, you could say the same thing. There's probably going to be a lot of action happening in this game here, in this second game for Dota Pit. Yep, I think you should expect a lot of fighting once Slaughter gets his Blink Dagger. I mean, I'm totally down for that. Oh, yeah, of course. Always down for a good, a good, uh, what do you call it? A rumble. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, a nice rumble. I could go for a, a fine rumble. <laughs> Say that fine rumble, you put your monocle on. Oh, yes, a fine rumble. Let's go. Silent picking up the slaughter as well. Blink Dagger is going to be coming out. Maybe he goes for Vanguard. We see some Ten slaughters do that. Like, remaining. Yona Sam fan on NIP likes to go for that early Vanguard on this hero. And I, I mean, they're remaining. like the only team that. That FC run Slaughter consistently. They also have the damage amplification, the armor reduction coming out from his ultimates. Pretty huge to blow up any one of these heroes and make them uh, inherently tanky heroes become pretty squishy. So I really like Empire's Draft. I also really like Secret's Draft, though. I mean, they have a lot of heroes that they're known for. We've talked about Zai's Batrider, Puppy's um, Dazzle, Kuroki's Rubik. Arteezy on the Sniper. Don't see it too often, but I'm certainly excited to see it. No! No! <laughs> no! We were so close. Let's get that Croatia land going, guys. Let's just go to the beach, man. <laughs> Let's I'm go down. play your beast. Oh, wait. Don't tease me. No, oh, I'm sorry. You can play your beast after this game. I'm getting close to my... What is it? Like the Jade Hoof or something? The, the 25 win courier? I've not played... I've played one game of your beast, and I'm like... I don't want to play this. Did you win? <laughs> no. Yeah, I played see, with... see, you don't know what the taste of victory is, or is the taste like. like. You don't... That's true. I, I won like 16 of them. I had so many item sets. My last one I got though was like the common Ursa set. I, I was so mad. <laughs> Trolled. Top yeah. check. And then I got the ancient Morphling one twice. I, I heard you weren't supposed to get any item sets twice. They lied to you. They definitely did. They just, they wanted to see that. They wanted to see the PJ salt. They wanted to see the PPD salt come out. I didn't know. I was very nice. I sent it as a gift to a friend. Oh, that's nice of you. Name's Sumail. 
<laughs> I give him that morphling set. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I, I play with Sunsfan, Seraction Slacks, and Sajidine. I played like Luna and I built like SNY Midas, who was a goddamn disaster. I don't know what I was thinking. What are you doing? Yeah, I know, dude. When I was building it too, I was just like, man, this is an awful build, but I'm playing your beast. I don't give a damn. Just pick Zeus, man. I, yeah, I should have. I really should have. Oh, man. I played with some people too. They're like, they're like oh, I'm going to go against the meta. Pick really cool heroes. And then they pick like <laughs> Nyx Assassin and Rubik. And we just lose. <laughs> Do you flame them? Oh, I get so mad. Yeah, I would too. Don't, don't worry, man. I feel you. You only, I mean, your reason only comes around like once every like three or four hours, so. Yeah, that's that's another part of the problem. You know, um, and then if you lose, you get nothing. Yeah, that's, I had a bad experience, man. I had a very bad experience. The game actually was 50 minutes long. And I almost came back after having some throwy ass items to start with. Like a Manta, Butterfly. I'm glad you lost. Oh, yo, whoa, whoa, dude. That's rough, man. L listening to the hero that you picked, the items that you chose to build, I think you deserve the loss. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, I guess that's fine. Listen, I, I'll I'll try another Your Beast game. I'll maybe taste the I'll have the taste of victories someday, but yeah, maybe someday. That day is not today, probably. That Empire. Day is not today. It's it's time to go, man. It's time to it's time for this game to start. No level one fighting at the banner room. That's unacceptable to me. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Let's get fighting. Thirty seconds. I got a deal. Yeah. That, ooh, that sentry room. Yeah, you're right. Now, uh, Yoki not as safe in that off lane. Resolution will sit at the bottom bounty rune spot. They'll give the top bounty rune to Arteezy more than likely. So the mid laner is going to secure the bounty runes. Also, the matchup for Sniper versus Resolution on the Shadow Fiend. I feel like this is Sniper favor, but maybe I'm wrong. The battle um, begins. New Shadow Fiend's pretty crazy. I think it's still Shadow Fiend favored, but yeah. the thing is, our come in potential handy. with the uh, three shrapnels. So if like there's like a Rubik rotation, it's a pretty easy kill on SF. And that's what you want to do when you have uh, when you have this hero is just try to rotate as early as possible. And you, I think Rubik's probably the best hero to do so, at least in this game. Yeah, I mean, you can't really have a dazzle rotation. I mean, you could, but see how things turn out. Resolution going for the early Necromastery. No level 1 raise. Arteezy going for the level 1 trap. Aloha Dance is going to walk right up. He's going to say hi. That's Earth Spike. He's going to use it. He's just trying to harass Arteezy. Arteezy is going to give him the right click, but kind of an awkward... I guess Aloha Dance is taking more damage than maybe it's worth. Shadow Wave goes. His puppy walked in. Resolution taking a lot of damage. It's a lot of right click. There's a lot of damage going between these uh, three heroes already. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was worth it, but... SS wave is, is double stacked, so maybe if he no, can see no, us one no. at a time, it'll be worth it. And we'll see. His damage, though, it's so bad early on. He does have a Wraith ban. He has like 50 base at this point. Yeah, he didn't go Raze first. Um, I'm not. I, I think Raze first is always better right now. It's just so strong to get off to a good start. He, he is getting die. dove. Arteezy, one more right click. The shrapnel is going again. Resolution's like, what a stupid first hero. He's blood. not going to die. Silent gets first blood bottom lane while this is all happening. Arteezy does get the kill. So Empire do get first blood just barely. And Resolution's like, thank God. That would have been awful. He still Radiant's dies anyways, though. Tower is under attack. Well, uh, Pimp, I hope... I, I don't know what we caught there. I was on mid. Me too. You got both? Oh, come. Oh, it's still, it's still really good. Pimp, you're the best. Good work, buddy. Oh. Sick stuff. Resolution. Walking back towards the mid lane. Silent off to a very fast start. Getting that first blood plus up to 8 CS. Do you think... Have you seen this Vanguard first build come out from Slaughter's? Do you know anything yeah. about it? Yeah, it's pretty good. It just depends on what you're farming. It's, it's really good if you could get Vanguard and then blink. I'm a fan. I am a fan. We saw Jonas and Fan do it a lot. That's the only team I've seen picking up recently. Yeah, Slaughter is like one of the worst heroes in Dota though, so I'm not sure if any item build really makes it a good hero. Really? Why do you say that? He's just, he's so bad. Like, just look at him. I mean, he looks terrible. That's true. Yoki, Telkinesis, Shadow Wave. Are the supports going to get this kill? Battery Assault, Cogs, excuse me, going to go. The Fade Bolt coming in. Kuroki and Dazzle able to secure the kill. All Flanner is dying left and right already. Yeah, I mean, Sardar, he seems like a, a decent hero on paper, but his stun is sometimes a bit underwhelming. Is Resolution dead again? Shrapnel? 
Head shot proc. There it is. He gets the head shot proc. Artiz is easy. Easy. He says he gets the RNG head shot proc. Two kills from already. SF is like, why why is this happening to me? Uh, what a rough lane. Denied. Yeah, I think it's because he went um didn't go raise first though. He would have been off to a faster start. He could have harassed Artiz more. He could have given him some damage to work with, so I don't know, yeah. That's that's a bit rough for I, at least he's up in CS now by a couple against Arteezy. So there is that for resolution. He also has 10 Necromastery stacks, so he's getting to a decent right-click uh, potential. But I mean, he can't really get into... He can't get into range to right-click Arteezy because if even one level of take aim is too good at this point, so resolution kind of has to sit back and use raises to harass and push out the wave. SF will definitely catch up. It's just unfortunate that the sniper is going to be up there with him because he probably shouldn't be. Just based on CS alone, yeah, I think you're right. Resolution backing away. Every right-click is just a nuisance. To the SF. The jungling coming out from Zai and Puppy, they realize they have to deal with this mud golem. Zai have to hit on cold after his first blood. Getting first blood, I should say. Smoke rotation from Aloha Dance as well as always want to fly. They're gonna look for a hex first. Arteezy heading to the top part of the map looking for an earth spike. They are not gonna find it. That's a swing and a miss. And now Arteezy turns in. They're gonna look for always want to fly. The counter rotation. Fly in some trouble. Right click resolution. Telekinesis always wanna fly. Always dead, unfortunately. The Vengeful Spirit going down, and they will get a, an Illusion Rune as well for, I think, Kuroki, or maybe he holds on to it for Artizzi. No, he grabs it, so good counter-rotation coming out from Secret to get the kill onto the Vengeful Spirit. Yeah, it's kind of hard for a Lion to initiate through a small tank like that, especially during, I think it was during daytime. Yeah, so, uh, the Ranger is also Yoki probably dies here again. Shadow Wave getting caught out. He had to play up a bit, but still does fall to S4. Gets his uh, Basilius getting a boots of speed as well. I don't think he has anything else. His CS 22, so S4 not having a bad sign, but down bottom again, we talked about it. Silent up to 900 gold, has treads already. Pretty solid start for him. He might be forced to go Blink Dagger first, which I'm not, that could have been his plan all along, but I know some uh, Slaughterers, like you said, Radiant's like the middle heart, tower but if your team is not doing well, then nice. You might need to get the early Blink to help out. Yeah, mid going down twice, obviously. Top lane, Yoki, you were just up here, dude. S4's gonna try to body block, no man to collab with it. Here comes in. Match missile and illusion. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Alright. I gotta continue to pull. Uh, yeah, that S4 actually accidentally bumped into the cogs, or else that was probably a kill. Well, that's why I didn't have the mana, I see. Telkinesis stick up. There's the clap. S4 knew he had just enough mana. Meanwhile, Sniper gets the kill on Resolution again in the mid lane. This game's a disaster. It really is. I, I, the crazy thing is that it could be going a lot worse. Resolution could be missing all the CS, and he, he could be at like 10 CS right now and have to really resort to the jungle at this point. They could have no farm on Silent. But at least they have a little bit going for them. However, there's a lot of levels and kills coming out for the supports on the side of Secret. Although, level 3 for Dazzle still. What about Zai? He's been in the jungle. Oh, more mud golems to deal with. 1300 gold in the bank. But he will get to that blink dagger. Yo, two mud Double golem stacks. Damage. What's happening? Zai's like, are you serious? How am I supposed to deal with this? Unbelievable. S Sniper, please help me. <laughs> he I'm might coming. rotate up. And he can clear up those mud golems. Actually, he should. But R2Z yeah, does, he does his own thing. Yeah, it's not too efficient for him. I, if I know Artur, I don't think he'll do it. But. <laughs> yeah, I was just got to say, that doesn't seem like something Arteezy would do in that situation. Yeah. Mm, they're going to try to contest this big stack. Meanwhile, S4 is like, I, I want a kill. Yoki's like, Telkinese is just in range. The split's going to go as well. The cogs. And they will throw down the right click the Firefly to cycle under on the Vengeful Spirit so she doesn't get away. Yoki getting dove the Shadow Wave. He did stick up, but he's going to die regardless. Can they kill the bench? Boulder Toss, I think they get this kill. They're diving hard, but they get it nonetheless. Match Missile Zai getting low. But the tower aggro on to Kroki Radiance now going to be probably going on to Puppy Zai taking some hits, but they Dyer's do get two kills. And they actually secure this stack for themselves that was about to get contested. Pretty big fight for Secret again, and it still is. Oh my god. Resolution assassinate. TP coming in, but it's too late. They might get Arteezy off the backside of this. Earth Spike's gonna go. Hex is up. Arteezy might get match missiled. Wave of Terror is there. He's just out of range, and Arteezy is gonna turn this shrapnel. Gets match missiled. Wave of Terror. Arteezy in trouble, but always wanna fly the shrapnel. Arteezy sitting and hitting from the high ground here. 
And S4 gets the kill on Yoki yet again. Yoki's death count up to five. Always want to fly. Assassinate goes, doesn't get the kill. They do get the kill on RTC. He got too aggressive going for Aloha Dance. Did he smoke that? Wow, Aloha Dance smoking just to make sure he survives. That was impressive. I got him the kill too. It's big. RTZ getting a bit too aggressive. He could have just ran away and said going for the bigger Radiant's play. It doesn't pay off. And that smoke attack. of deceit from Aloha Dance making sure the assassin he doesn't connect. Blink Dagger fallen. now done at 8 minutes for Zai. Blink Dagger for S4. He actually is going to go for a Morbid Mask. What an interesting choice. Mask of Madness? I, you know, no, no, no. I just, don't think so. He's just farming jungle. He just wants to be able to move into the jungle and give the lane to Rubik or Dazzle. And he'll be able to transition into a Vlad's later, which is the nice thing. Which I'm sure he'll probably go for. Yeah, definitely. So, Don't see many do that though, so Yeah, but why, why, why does he not just go for the straight up blink dagger is the real question. He just wants to be able to go into the jungle and just farm. And his teammates take away. And yeah, if he so went blink that. dagger, I mean, he wouldn't be able to do it as efficiently, I suppose. Mm. So this gives room for Kuroki to farm top lane. We could sh you could see him doing... He's getting CS. There is Yoki top. He, he's not even level 6. The Bat Rider is level 7. Kroki will TP out. Battle result not there. He TP's bit. They're going to find a lasso onto Silent. Silent, who is doing the best in the game, and just bought his blink. Doesn't even get a kill with it and dies. But, so that's the issue with Slardars. When you rush blink like that, you're super squishy because you're using Sprint. Yeah. And um, you just go in, then if you don't get the kill, you just this big useless fish thing and you just die and now now the game is lost because Sardar is going to be totally useless. This game does seem pretty difficult for Team Empire. They have a 4,000 network deficit and they actually might find more heroes. Arteez is just like, I'm going to assassinate you always but fly, you're going to die. He gets the kill. Unfortunately for Sonic, I know that's probably not what he wanted to do, but he felt like he was pressured to do things because his teammates were feeding so much. Yoki in that top lane, five deaths, man. He just hit level six. What happened? That Dyer's was what what happened, Yoki attack. man. Last game you were a monster. This game. Ah, not like so much. He, he got pretty unlucky. Like first off, he got his um, his ward deward and she had no vision to see what was going on, and then at two minute rune, Dazzle Arteezy picked up. Got fingered! He is gonna fall, and Puppy couldn't get there for the grave. I mean Aloha probably dies for this. There is no lasso actually, so maybe they get some TP rotations. Yeah, they're gonna rotate in the other couple of heroes in, and Arteezy finally goes down. Big kill for the line. Right. So the ring crush, Zai probably can get graved here. They won't even use it. Hook shot. S4. Clap split's gonna go as well. Yoki's kind of left out to dry here. He does have a bench to help him out. Swap out. Nicely done. Incoming. Yeah, Boulder Toss in just a second. Two seconds, in fact. Yoki getting chased down. Boulder Toss is gonna go. I can't get this kill. Will he have mana for Clap? I don't think he needs it. He's gonna get it with the Brulings. Oh, S4. Clap's gonna go. But he's stuck in, and he's no TP. Magic Stick's ready to go. They have Magic Missile in four. s 4s gonna try to hightail it out of there. And always gonna fly. Can't get there in time. S4 stops for a second as he has reinforcements coming into the top lane. But uh, nice kill from S4 in that top lane. And a Blink Dagger as well. <laughs> Everything that could go wrong is going wrong with the exception of them killing Arteezy not too long ago. He'll be going in SNY more than likely as he has the Ogre Club. That was a big kill. Well, I dance almost has his point now. Wow. Of that. that actually is huge. I wonder how far away he was before that. Radiance top tower is under attack. I'm not sure. Kill wasn't itself wasn't worth that much, but it was a lot of experience and RTC is pretty high level, so Resolution, Telekinesis, Assassin is gonna go. It's not gonna be another kill. It's raved up. Can he finish off Resolution? Needs a Fade Bolt. Not gonna find it. Has raised. Resolution survives. Aloha Dance low. Shrapnel going up. RTZ in trouble. Silent jumping in as well. Puppy doesn't have Grave. Shadow Wave might be available. Gets it off just in time. Now RTZ will be able to take down Yoki. He gets the double kill. That Shadow Wave saves his life. Puppy gonna juke the Slither and Crush. Zai walking in. He's got Lasso. Shadow Wave assassinates. Silent stuck into place. He'll go down. Triple kill for RTZ. What was an okay fight for Empire turns disastrous as they lose four heroes and RTZ gets a goddamn triple. Holy shit, that's that. That's insane. Shout out to Ix Mike. Yoki takes over Ix Mike's record for the most bits in 10 minutes. Oh! Radiance Jesus. Tower is under attack. Mike, sorry, buddy. That's, that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's actually the best stat, though. Illusion.
Alex Mike. Theater. Yeah, but like I was saying, he, his, his ward got dewarded up here. And then at the two minute rune, Dazzler got a haste that ran up and killed him. And he had no sight of the rune at all, so. Pretty unlucky. And then, then he just went full tilt mode and he started feeding like crazy. And then Resolution got solo killed by TZ. And then he went full <laughs> tilt mode as well and he started feeding like crazy. Your team goes on full tilt like that, there's not much you can do if you're silent. Although Dyer's they do have the blink tag, not coming up from line for a lot of dance. That provides them some respite here in this game. Yeah, oh, it's still gonna be rough though. If they would have killed RTZ there, I, I would say that that would have been like. Oh, uh, they could have like a good chance to have a fighting chance in the game. Sniper's actually rushing BKB, which is something I haven't seen. I thought he was going for an SMY for sure, but. No, he is going for that BKB. I guess he would have gotten Yasha first for SMY, so. Oh, my bad. BKB almost done. 600 H rolled away. Resolution bottom. He's going for mech again, but this time it's going to be super late. Because he's died so often that... Does he have another component on the career? No, he doesn't have the buckler yet. So this this mech is going to take some time to get to. Maybe 15, 16 minutes before he has that. And maybe they can fight. But at that point, Secret have a huge lead. Arteezy can do so much Last damage. Oh, they are going to go for the kill. The clap up as well. Yogi again is going to fall. Split goes. Boulder Toss on always want to fly. He doesn't die for this, I think. And Yeah, just a nice kill. I don't know... If Split was necessary, but works out in his favor anyways. It was defensive. He just wanted to make sure he didn't die. He'll get Radiant's out. Top tower Not the biggest is under deal in your head. Blink. Kuroki caught out, still being crushed, double raise. Grave not there, puppy not there in time. Zyra already used his shots on that top lane engagement. Attack. Okay, a nice pick onto Kuroki, stopping him from progressing further, maybe into his blink dagger. He had 600 gold, back down to 400. Big pick. Radiant's bottom tower oh, is under oh. attack. <clears throat> Dyer's middle tower picked up as well is under attack. Zai on that bat rider. That's something else. Bots blink dagger. Literally no other Press items. Player from Empire. They're gonna jump in. Earth spike slither crash. Goodbye, puppy. There used to be a dazzle there. They were looking for S4, but he blinks away. Big place from Empire getting them back in. This blink Radiant's dagger not coming into effect for Loa Dance getting a couple of kills. The secret have to rein it in a bit. He could be almost completed on our TZ. And then maybe Dyer's that's when they start going hard, is under attack. looking for more pickoffs. We'll see what they try to do with this PKB. Do you try I'm to sure fight with I it? I like the BKB. I'm not. Dyer's I don't know if that's the right choice. Are They're really far ahead, though. So I think any item choice will be okay. Do you fight with that BKB now? You have, do you have RTZ just kind of in the front lines, just dishing out the damage, and uh, they can't really kill him? I'm not sure. Like he's their only tower push, so. They maybe will just try a couple smoke ganks with, um, during, uh, like, work with the bat and try and get a pick, and then they'll just go to Roshan. Zai will head top and he'll push out the wave real quick, but hey, Roshan hasn't been touched yet, surprisingly enough. Rating team, because they are on the rating side, they, they maybe aren't as comfortable going to the Roshan pit despite having amplified damage, although it's only level one, it's about to be two momentarily. Kuroki, Puppy, and RTZ grouping up, countering a ward quickly. Another D work. They're getting all like all the words, um, puppy and curl. So there's like no vision at all for Empire. They're crushing it. Top Secret tower making is sure that attack. the map control is not there. Yeah, they, the the Dyer's other side of the map like, across the river for Empire is dark, 100% dark. And uh, our our TZ and the rest of Secret are going to use this to their advantage. They only have one ward though on the other side for them, so they don't have any vision of the jungle. But Secret are going to head into the the, the pit. I'm not sure if Empire spotted this out. No, I they, know. they might have. Yeah, they Definitely see not. a couple of heroes. They know that they're in the pit at this point. They're gonna try to group up. They're gonna try to go for a fight. This could be a big fight to turn things around for Empire. They're gonna smoke up. They're gonna walk right in. Zai's ready with the lasso behind the tree. Kuroki's ready to jump in as well. Not that he's a point dagger. They're gonna see Silent Blink. So they're gonna the Firefly. Grave might go, and it does. BKB for RTZ. Mech goes. Finger on S4. Can't get the split off Silent up under the high ground. Firefly's still going, but now Secret has to back away. TP up from Silent. Always want to fly alone. Assassinate's about to fly. Not gonna get the kill. Meanwhile, Empire walk up to the high ground. Aloha Dance misses the Earth Spike. RTZ backing away. Stole the Earth Spike. He misses. Whips around. Silent getting his Slither Crush onto the high ground. Always want to fly. Does go down. It's one for one. They're still chasing, though. Shrapnel going in. It's gonna connect a little bit. Will they chase up to the high ground? They decide against it. Another weird and awkward engagement. And they lose a, a bigger hero on the side of Secret than they do on Empire. Yeah, they chased a little a little bit too much. Um, Zai did a really good job. He put Slardar on the cliff there. And Slardar was like totally useless that fight. 
I always want to fly. They kind of overextended by going up onto the high ground. Um, I think if I always want to fly, I would have swapped the starter off the high ground. It would have been a much better fight for Empire. Then always want to fly, uh, rather. Silent runs amok on that slaughter in that engagement. Just doesn't happen there, as of course you talked about the last two coming out. So big plays from Zai. That fight though wasn't looking that good for Secret. I think it was all about positioning though. Well, Puppy got a Puppy got a nice grave too on the bat. Mm -hmm. Just got the maxed out grave, so it's really long range. Oh, Mike breaking out. Resolution getting split on. He's gonna mech that Mike from alive. There's no real heroes in the vicinity, although Cyclone's gonna go to wait for everyone to get in position. Hookshot actually is gonna go. Yoki trying to connect. He's gonna find Artizi. Gets pushed out. Yoki, BKB for Artizi. Yoki might get caught, but he's probably the only hero that goes down here for Empire. Artizi even used to force his BKB because of it. They are gonna find someone else. Earth Spike, I think the lasso is still available, but Zai just can't get it off. He can try to look for another point lasso on Silent. He's gonna find it. Four staff not there. I don't know if he needs it. Silent can try to sprint away. He will do so, but the Earth Spike coming out. Kuroki does have telekinesis. Radiant Silent getting stuck in place. He'll get brought down, and now this should be a tier two tower as. They're already, they already have the creep wave under the tier 2, and Secret will take it. Yeah, that was a ton of pressure, there was so much going on that fight, fortified. and Empire just doesn't have the, the answers to deal with that kind of pressure right now. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Secret will take the tier 2 tower. Radiant's middle tower Feels like Artis is lacking a bit in damage at this point. I'll get it. The next item will be down for sure. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Uh, While well, we have a second, I think Pink Muggle said we have a replay of that Roshan fight. Although uh, Empire are walking out of the base, I don't want them to. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait and see if anything happens here. Something could break out within the next couple of moments. Aloha Dance might look for a blink. The rest of Secret kind of in no man's land here. Dyer's Puppy's gonna find a lot of dance. First spike onto two points away, but we tear on two. Flare flies through. Clockwork has its hook shot, but he hooks in to a creep. The hell bear. Oh no. Oh, Meanwhile, Blink's very close. The finger. Kuroki's low. They already take down Puppy. Kuroki's gonna fall as well. Silent with a huge initiation. Gets the double kill. They rush. I think they, they're, they're, they go they're, gonna, they're gonna try it. This could be a big play. And it looks like Secret, I mean, they got Batter yeah, right back at base. Zai TP's in. Arteezy has to kill up. He's gonna head right over the road. So how fast is he falling? Pretty quickly. It's gonna die quick. They've gotta do something, do, do something now. Well, they jump in. Zai might go for a flame break. Gets there a bit too late. They cog up resolution. Gets it. Zai's about to fall as well. And Empire, they're turning the game around with that Roshan with the Aegis. Not a bad couple of fights here for Empire. Not bad at all. Yasha picked up on our TZ now. Probably gonna go that SMY we talked about earlier. Radiant's hey, well, bottom tower, tower, tower is under attack. So you get again, Radiant's yes. bottom tower has fallen. Does get the spike. No finger. S4 gets his entire mana pool drained though. He's gonna have to bottle up to be able to TP away. And he's we'll got a super low mana pool. 360 nah. mana, not the yeah, definitely not the highest. Pretty rough. Ah, uh, it's not. I mean, that's the, that's the thing, like, it's both, both, both ways. Yeah, you can drain him fast, but also he, like, models once and he has, like, 30% of his mana already. Bro. Dyer's middle tower is under Sports attack. Used to farm. He actually went for the Vlads. We talked about it. We'll see what he goes for next. Maybe BKB like he did in the last game. Assault Cross always an option. Yasha now dead for Sniper. SMY could be an option. He's going to get blanks in the room cards, though. Big tell he is. Magic Missile RTZ in trouble. Will BKB bash is still going to go slap. Silent in trouble. He'll fall. Always want to fly. Got to go down as well. The rest of the squad nearby. Aloha dancing. Obviously, Yoki looking for an initiation. Resolution raises up. Hookshot. RTZ's low. He's going to fall. Brokey in the cogs. Resolution gets the raise. Brokey's about to fall. Panda Cycle is going to go. Not that it's going to matter. Yoki getting right foot down, but. Lasso is going to come in. Yoki into trouble. They have buyback. They're not using for Arteezy or for Kuroki. They will use the Requiem, not doing anything. Resolution kind of whiffing on that. All the meanwhile, Puppy is foot pushy bottom as a dazzle. But still, I think a team fight that is okay for Empire as they take Arteezy down. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, originally, I think it was a bit of an overextension by Silent and always want to fly to go for that sniper kill, but. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Uh oh. Oh, on the inside. Same time each other. Blink flap. Flame break back. Puppy. Walking in. First fight. Grave on his eye. Aloha dance about to fall. Resolution right foot in his eyes. And Grave's about to wear off. They won't get the kill. Or his bike onto two. Broke yet stolen it. Resolution getting caught out. Raise hits onto S4 just at the tail. Will they chase any further? And they're, they're thinking about it. 
blink Aqua will be up to the top left. Decide not to go for the kill. Zai could be away. Assassinated. Is that going to get a kill? Yes. Resolution's age is now gone. They're going to re-engage. Kuroki looking for a token. He's the first spike. He'll find it. Hook shot in onto S4. He doesn't have his split for another 30 seconds. Arteezy blows up Resolution. Big kill. Probably gets Yoki as well. Empire overextended yet again. S4 going to walk back in. Still no clap. Now he just gets the mana for it. Assassination. They don't need it. Kuroki steals the kill. Gets the KS with the Fade Bolt. They take three or two heroes. I'm not sure. But still a fight one for Secret there. Back and forth we go. Two and they just saw a huge fight for Secret. It was like just... I, I just wasn't ready to fight there. Oof, almost got that kill on Silent. BKB almost said he desperately needs that item. Uh, the DC comes out for a resolution. And, yes, yes, Pimp Muckle, we have lots of replays. We'll send it over to him. Use your judgment as to which replay you, to use, my friend. What's going on, Pim? I have my I have my progress in place. Like I can just do one specific order. I can't really, really jump back and forth. So we're no. just gonna take the first um, the first fight here. It was from the Rosetown fight. 60 minutes in, it felt it felt like a really huge fight, and it really was. So why was this such a nice fight for Empire? Well. They had Empire Silent just running into Zai, and he stunned them up. The Clockwork Hookshot onto S4. S4 couldn't ult. Like, there was nothing he could do. He just got blown up. And if you don't have your Panda split 60 minutes in a game, this is a huge, like, disadvantage right from the get-go. Everyone's just running away. Then, well, Zai still, yes, he got initiated. He still got an amazing ultimate off. Silent was up on the cliff, and like PPD already mentioned, I have no idea why the Venge didn't swap him down, but, I mean, in the end, it didn't really matter all that much. You get one kill, you get out, and because of the um, the changes to the gold and the experience, you get a lot more than anyone else. So this is, you know, th this was a pretty good fight, I have to say. And this was pretty much the stepping point for Empire to maybe mount a comeback here. I mean, we, we, we have more. Just give me a second. Now, it's still the DC coming out from Resolution. Hopefully he, get, he gets back in soon. Pimp, let me know when you're ready, buddy. All right, Empire. You know what, let's just do it now. All right, let's go ahead. Back over to Pim. All right, uh, Line just died, so it was in fact three kills going the way of Team Secret. Then assassinate because of the overextension. I just caught the tail end of this one. I I, I didn't fail, but well, it just limited things. S4 once again gets a uh, great hook shot, and this is a problem. Like Yuki is always trying to get S4, and yes, he's dying for it. But even if you're dying as a clockwork, you're trying to disrupt as much. But Secret are just way too far ahead in this fight. And in the end, yeah, like we mentioned, Kroki already just getting the cast on. And also, Slada was really no big thing in the fight. It just... Oh. Whoops. I didn't show the instant replay. I'm sorry about this. Well, <laughs> this was awkward. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Make to you All right. Well, we have the pause going still. No real reason why we're paused. They haven't said anything. I'm going to have to assume it's some sort of ping issue. We could be waiting for a period of time again, and let's see. Before we do head over to an over or to a yeah to an overlay, we have some things to talk about quickly. Secret do have this 7500 net worth lead. Empire felt like they were coming back into the game. Artiz is starting to get damage though, and he can take over this game if necessary. Some bad overextensions from Empire, turning into bad fights, making it pretty difficult. And honestly. When they should be, they should be ahead because some of these fights have been really solid, but they just go a bit too far to get caught out, and then that's it. Jeez, Cole, we're back in the game. No overlays for us. We're ready to go. Puppy's gonna resume the game. 2,000 gold for him, by the way. Interesting to know. Puppy has opted for no points in Poison Touch, something that none of the Dazzles have done thus far in 6.3. Oh, finger miss, like, they blow up Zai, the bat rider gets caught out. Just gets absolutely decimated. So when I talked about the draft in the first phase, yeah. I said that Secret We're back. probably gonna go All about dance now. Oh, he's sorry. got that blink dagger. He's done so much work with it. But here in the game, here at 23 minutes in, if you're a Secret, do you need to farm more, or are you okay with taking these fights that they're taking right now? I think I think they're gonna have some problems. When I talked about that draft earlier, and I said that their last pick was gonna be something with more carry potential, like a Visage or something. Um, I was like, I, I think that's gonna be an issue for them because all they have right now is sniper to right click and like do physical damage and watch Slardar and Shadowfiend get their BKBs and say yeah, if, if they somehow kill the sniper in a fight, they're gonna have no damage at all in secret. And then at that point, you gotta just hit the back, right? Is under yeah, yeah, you have to. And I'm just not sure if sniper is gonna be able to do enough. I'm not sure he's a really a one core hero, like a like a one carry. I think sniper is more like a. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But if you get super farmed, that doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> no late game potentials there. 
But at this point, there's a lot on the shoulders of Arteezy. The resolution having to leave. Dyer's Tower will probably get denied. Flip's gonna go. Resolution staying. Brokey's gonna use the telekinesis. They have viewers on the backside. So here he is about to fall again. Resolution next up, earns up. They won't get the tower, but they can initiate off the back end of this. Silent looking for a blink. Not a good fight for secret. Yeah, they need to leave immediately. Brokey's gonna find uh, a lot of trouble here. He's gonna get right click down. The split's gonna go. You have to get your earth ruling out as quickly as possible. Instead, they're gonna try to find puppy teeping way. Battery assault. Yoki finds it. He didn't even use the hook shot. They'll find three. The earth ruling now getting chased down as well. Swaps available for always want to fly if he uses it. S4 getting away. Silent is sprinting. S4 is going to collapse. Slither Crush is going to go. Aloha Dance earns up, but now Arteezy is keeping in. Silent, Drunken Haze, Assassinate's going to go. Is he going to lift? Arteezy swapped out, but he PKBs. Hookshot in. Kogsha available as well. They'll keep him up and pent in. The right click from Resolution. Arteezy, Wreck is going to go. The finger. They lose Artor. S4 is going to get caught out as well. They're going to lose four heroes. They cancel the TP coming in for the Bat Rider. What a disastrous fight coming out from Secret. Dyer's what the hell? Top that was not attack. good for them at all. Dyer's that was not good for them at all. That's what fallen. I would say. Jesus. They lose four. They lose five heroes. The net worth lead dwindles down to 2,500. They get like 3,000 gold out of that. Oh, they swing and a miss. Last one's going to go uh, as a bit of an overextension. A little deep. A little deep. A little deep. He's gonna go down. They even get the Earth Spike steal. And now it's time for Empire to leave. What a fight. Radiance ah, like, yep. That means attack. a new a new shiny item for Slardar called DKB. Oh dear. Now how do you deal with him? Lasso. That's I mean it. Lasso and Sniper are still good against him, but the thing is like if Slardar manages to get on top of Secret's heroes, he's gonna be a real problem. Which he's done on Sai multiple times. He's he's caught him out with this Living Crush at least two or three times this game. Yep, he's doing a really good job. Um, they actually picked outside at the start of that fight, which is huge. They have this ward over here on that cliff. That's on. And that allowed them to pick him off here by the free camp, the small camp. Arteezy does pick up the SMY, so now some more damage to work with, but he's still a long ways away, I think, from being able to take over this game, and they are starting to be in a bit of a pickle. 2,500 net worth uh, lead for them, but it was once almost 10k. Oh, maybe some fights happening. Silent was looking to jump in, but decides against it. Weave did go, and when Weave goes, you don't want to... Maybe you don't want to fight into that. It's a bit yeah, I definitely want to avoid fighting into Weave as much as possible. Um, one thing to note is that Arteezy's BKB is now down to 5 seconds, so... Because he went that item first, its duration is, you know, at its lowest possibility, which is not good for them. 5 seconds? Wow! I thought it was like maybe 7 or 6, but 5. I mean, he has to use it every fight, because yeah. if he wants to, like, there's the blade mail from Clockwork, there's all the stuns that they have, and he never knows when Lottie's just gonna jump. When the blind gets to jump on Sniper, he'll just die before he gets any spells off. Well, this is the game we were talking about. Yoki was off to 0-5, sorry. Resolution was off to 0-3. Apparently, it doesn't matter, because they're back right into the game anyways, and Secret, maybe not taking the best fights they, they probably could. The top fight was really bad. Yeah. I'm not sure what they were thinking. The sniper could not get there, and they just took the fight anyways. They were trying to defend that tower, but they just they were defending too hard. They got the deny, yes, but it was certainly not worth it. Eesh. Smoke comes out from Secret. They're trying to find anybody desperately. Take their jungle back as well. Aloha Dance might be spotted out. He actually doesn't have a TP scroll, so he's kind of in an awkward Radiance position. Courier has been the Radiance killed. Courier goes down as it was flying right towards uh, the entirety of Secret. It was actually in the river when they it's, take it down. The smoke gate tanked by whatever that thing was. The Bapka, the Bewitcher. Well, that is the weirdest courier I've ever seen. It's pretty ugly, yeah? Yeah, it's actually terrifying and disgusting looking. <laughs> That's not a top tier courier. Empire, please. No, either way. They lose the courier. Smoke gank at least is... Uh, they don't lose any heroes in the process. Here we go. You gotta run in. Sai looking for a lasso. Silent and backing away. A low eye dance. Uh, playing a bit of footsie. Earth spikes to go. Zai. Silent has his blink dagger. They don't want to engage him in that, though. They could have gone, but the Dazzle's right there at the grave, so they already figured that would have been a waste. Gem on bat now. 
Dyer's bottom oh, tower that. is no, under I didn't, attack. I didn't know he grabbed it. And, uh, are he's gonna try to get in that control bottom lane. Resolution pops to BKB. Split's gonna go assassinate. Kits canceled because that doesn't do anything. No, no, no. Yeah. It cancels, it cancels CP, doesn't it? Bottom tower uh, it does have actually do through the record. Yeah, it's a mini stun, I think. Does the mini stun go through BKB? I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. You might be right about that. I don't know. I know it's. I mean, I know it has the mini stun to cancel TPs, but through BKB, I'm not sure. Well, he was requiming or ra eh, maybe he was raising. Actually, I'm not sure. Okay, so no panda split. Um, that might be a rush on here for Empire. Conversely, though, no BKB for resolution, but he doesn't seem to mind that much. I have illusions. Illusions take the rush on. They'll come in. They'll amplify damage. It's his, uh, his BKB two. is kind of only for panda, though. I think. Yeah. And like, yeah, there's not much else. They're gonna back up though, Zai nearby, looking for Pits on Fine Silent. Will they try to engage the Silent up on the down. cliff? Yeah, they need to swap, they need to desperately BKB for RTZ. Silent, they're just gonna leave him there, it looks like. Resolution running in, oh, trying to get the mech off, and now actually this might be Secrets Roche. RTZ in the pit, Zai is actually stuck at the high ground, he does have Blink though. Also sports back in a couple of seconds. Blink finger, Earth's like on to two hooks shot, they blow up one with the raise. Requiem about to go, S4 has his BKB, RTZ avoids it, Zai on the high ground. What else is happening? Yoki not getting Kuroki. Kuroki backing up to the further high ground. S4 getting caught. No split for 40 seconds. Can't blink away. The urn charge is there. Magic missile. Are trying to get the high ground. He actually is doing a lot of damage to Yoki. Will we get this kill? Zai back into the fight. Assassination. You don't even need it. Swap out. Zai might get caught. Magic missile not there. Oh, on no. cooldown. Assassinate. Always want to fly. Gets forced into the bullet. Boom. Hits him right in the face. And RTZ actually picks up three. Well, they pick up through the secret. Two for three trade in the end. Hmm. That was a pretty good fight for secret, all things considered. The panda split was down, um, and they managed to kind of stalemate that kind of fight. So next fight, they'll have the panda split. It just feels like this game might be going a bit Radiant's later. Top you have an empire with the SF. You have silent even versus RTZ on the, the sniper. I don't know if this game ends anytime soon with how this game is going. I mean, you never know. Could, I mean, a five for a five for zero fight could be a GG. True, true. They could it absolutely take something at Roshan that could be ridiculous. We also saw something like that at the top. Uh, oh, top DD point. Rune. That could lead to Roshan. Well, probably. Yeah. Yeah, we'll to Roshan. He's gonna just go right into Rosh. Oh boy. Aegis for sniper is really big. It, it, the sniper's issue right now is that um, when his BKB ends, he really can't enter fights if Lion is still on the map. He's dishing out as much damage as you like. Lasso got a lot of damage. Assassin is gonna go. Will they bring him down? Firefly. Silent jumping and misses the Slithering Crush. Good Earth Spike from a low hot dance. On to S4. Silent. Grave goes. Resolution's in the fight now. RTZ pops the Manta, pops the Shrapnel. Requiem's gonna go. Again, not hitting really anybody. He does a little bit of damage on the tail end of it. They stole the Requiem coming out for the Rubik. Oh dear, that is frightening. Everyone's kind of low, silent, jumping in. RTZ can still right click, Zai's low as well. Hookshot onto Puppy. He has Grave. They finger up Zai. He won't survive. Split finally goes from S4. Are they going to continue to fight this for either squad? Resolution getting cycled up. It looks like Secret just want to retreat. Silent has other ideas. This is the Slytherin Crush. Telekinesis is the right click. Dove too far. There's the Requiem blowing him up. Swap out. Doesn't matter. RTZ already going to work. S4 gets a low hot dance. Gets another. The Venge going down. Now they're turning the fight around. Resolution and Empire overextending. And yet again, Yoki, now there's going to be a TP. Can they get a kill? Oh, wow. He is going to get away. They had no disables. Yoki might not be so lucky. Has no TP. Assassinate's going to go. Gets canceled. Telkinis is back up. Clap, not mana for it. Yoki with the blade mill goes down. Four for one trade. And Secret now, they will definitely try to take Roche on. It's been long-winded, but Roche finally going to go to Secret's side. Yeah, big fight for Secret there. Slarno is just not getting any work done in these fights right now. He's kind of falling off. <laughs> These slithering crushes have been swings and misses almost every time. I mean, they're, they're tough to land, um, especially playing against Batrider. This Batrider is always going to have to like, this thing with it. Roshan and just the, the, the presence of mind to the secret to turn that fight after they knew that there was an overextinct from Empire. They try to just, they went it, they, they chased too far and secret realizing this, they turn around, they get a lot of kills. And now an Aegis, which he's talked about being huge for Arteezy. His next item coming out soon. We'll see what it is. Rubik Requiem was also a really big thing. Yeah. Sarda like good. Sarda was like way too far. Like he was all the way up here. His team went back here, and then he gets lifted into a Requiem, and he just dies instantly. Well, as it turns out, secret 
they're in a pretty good position now. They That's were smoke. Find anybody? Well, it's just the tail. It's the beginning of the smoke. Sad is going for the assault cross, unsurprisingly. They might head top into the jungle, bottom lane. Flame break, all resolution. Side being doing. playful. Yeah. Instead, they head bottom. They see that Zai's down bottom, but I don't think they can get there in time. Everyone else on the map is missing, and I think Secret Notice. They got a ward up here. Yeah, they see a and score, a maybe? Then. Oh, he, he, has, he has split. He has split. Oh, what a force to the high ground from Zai. That was sick. Getting him up, and he also gets the last one. No force for himself. Whoa. Jump in, clap. Splits available for S4 if he wants to. He's waiting as long as possible until the BKB runs out. Gets it oh, off. Aloha Dance is going to fall. This fight turning sour very quickly for Empire. And again, overextensions. The word of the day. They're going to lose Grookey. They're going to lose, or not Grookey, rather. They're going to lose Always Wanna Fly. They're going to lose Aloha Dance as well. And they get three kills. Not three big ones, but still three kills nonetheless. Amazing four stuff by Zai there. That was game winning four stuff. Or, yeah, probably game winning four stuff. They get the lead now. S4 stays alive. He gets a huge clap. He he waits super long with that BKB duration because he knows he can't really get shut down. And are they going to go? They have no buyback. This tier three tower Radiant's middle is tower probably going to fall. And maybe one building, uh, one other building, Dyer's maybe a melee rack, maybe a full set rack attack. here. Oh, they got a glitch. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah, they might lose the barracks here. Radiant's middle tower is under Tier 3 tower taking some damage. It's not taking that much damage. Secret's got everything except for Panda Split. That's up in 43. BKB's back up. Dyer's bottom seconds. tower is under Will attack. Will they go for the melee racks? They won't. They get the 2 3 tower. They'll back up at the respawn timers. They just don't have enough damage from Arteezy yet, honestly. He, he finally got his mom, by the way. He also has 4.8k gold. Attack. That's pretty nice. Yeah, probably go Scotty Sky. next. Yeah. I think that's fine. Invisibility! That is the choice. Radiance I think. top tower is under attack. He just could is go, still there. Go butterfly too. Radiance courier. Oh, S4 gets the courier. I was flying to find something. Meanwhile, always want to fly. Oh, on the puppy. They're going to blow a lot attack. on him. They throw up the finger. They get a blink slithery crush. It's a support dazzle, but still a kill is a kill. I got the gem, too. Oh, did he have the gem? Yep. That is a problem. Yeah, and get rid of all these wards. There's so many wards in Empire side of the map right now. That map control now going to start dwindling down. There's one in the mid lane here, two in the jungle, one in the base. Oh, they're gonna find the last one. Oh, ah, dance will get caught out. Telekinesis is gonna go. S4 is waiting for that four step to the low ground, I guess. Yeah, he was waiting for it, and he just gets an easy kill as he does so. Daedalus coming in from Arteezy. He realizes he needs more damage, and instead of going Scotty, he also canceled his TP mid, interestingly enough. Radiance yeah, bottom tower back far, is under like, attack. Get this tower for free. Radiance it. bottom tower has fallen. Data, this is good too. It just it depends if they can get on top of it or not. It's gonna be tough. These last couple of fights have been them chasing down Arteezy and him turning around and killing everybody. And with yeah. the Daedalus, this is gonna be no exception to what what's happened earlier. I think it's got like one or two shotless supports. So. Yeah, dear God. <laughs> oh. Arteezy is going to be doing some damage. And despite how questionable this mid game was, I think for Secret, they're finally hitting their stride. And Empire, they're in some trouble to be sure. They do have the, high, the highest net worth in resolution. They'll find the last are going to go. Nice swap coming out. S4 still going to try to find a point clap. There's the BKB. They'll chase him down. BKB duration is at this point seven seconds. Trap going again. S4 has split, but not going to use it. Instead, they go into always want to fly. They get the kill. A drunken haze. They get a support. Very nice swap coming out from the bench, though. That sniper at Fascinate range at level 3 is just absurd. 3,000. He was, like, right here, and he sniped him in lane. When I'm holding, when you hover over it, and I'm zoomed all the way out, it just shows how ridiculous that range is. Yeah, you can barely see the circle. Yes, it's right the very top barracks are under attack. Melee Rash now getting away. shut down. This is going to be a tough defense. They just want to get pressure to go. RTZ forced out. Still in trouble. Another force going their way. They're making sure he stays alive. Silent in trouble. Getting right clicked. They're looking for a last one. Maybe from sides. On cooldown. Assassination is going to go. Not going to get the kill. Back in the main fight. Yoki and Aloha dance going toe to toe. Aloha jumps in. Earth Spike and dies. He has to buy back. Yoki might have to do the same. He won't have buy back. No money for it. Resolution getting back. There's still the Aegis Force. As you know, it's gone away. Swap out. Resolution low. Does he have buyback? He just bought his butterfly. He might fall. He's so low. 60 HP. They can't get the kill. They cannot find it. 
Slaughter buying back instead, and now Arteezy and Secret backing up. Dyer's top tower oh. is under attack. Resolution, had he died there, I think the game's just over. Yeah, probably. He actually didn't have the whole butterfly on him. He only had like two of the components, and he dodged like three attacks from Panda with the talisman only. That was yeah, the talisman saving his life, but also almost providing a heart attack for Empire fans. We're like, resolution, please don't die. They don't even get a, a Rax off of that, and without Aegis, do Secret continue or do they sit back and farm? Looks like they're gonna do the latter. Illusion! Yep, no Panda Split, and they're probably, no Aegis either for Sniper, so if, if um, they initiate on like the Dazzle and the Sniper at the same time, then Sniper's just gonna die. So oh, just they have the kicks. play it safe, get some more items. Speaking of more items, the Salt Kiras comes out for S4. We haven't talked about this, but Kuroki also has Blink Force, and he's going for NAGs now too, which is not too far off of, he's actually one 1200 away. One big fight, we'll get in that. Zai is 4000. Do you go Refresher for Zai, or is there other items that you might pick up? Maybe. There's a lot you can go for on that route, um, I guess. I mean, BKB is always yeah, a good yeah, pickup. I forgot about that. He's uh, going Shiva's, Shiva's, so. okay. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And that's for that. S4 is second most played hero. Lost on Secret Brewmaster has an incredible 19 and 2 record. His two losses were against EG and Beachy. Nice work. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good record. That is something. That is, uh, I don't know what the percentage of that is. Probably above 80, maybe above 90. Panda's an interesting hero, like he's super strong, but like a lot of teams don't pick him. And he's also Radiant's kind of like top tower is under attack. Um, fell into like you can like pick him like third or fourth or even fifth and get away with it. Before he was always like first pick, first ban. Yeah. But then these other heroes got buffed and then it's just Radiance top tower he, has he been kind of just denied. slips through some drafts. And then if you don't have any counters for Panda at the end, then you're in big trouble. S Force Hero Pool is so cool when you think about it. Magnus, Wind Ranger, Brewmaster. Like, nobody really plays those heroes anymore. I mean, I guess a couple people do, but... He just makes them look so good, too. But Empire smoke up. They gotta try to find something here. Silent with another cool hero. Slaughter, although he does look like ass. That hero's model's terrible. They're gonna try to find Zai and S4. Zai gets jumped on, so they're in crush. They start to the fight, the Grave gets off. Assassinated always wanna fly. He'll get swapped out. He's gonna fall to the right foot. Hook shot in, on to two. They catch out Arteezy, but still two down on secret side. Nice cycle coming out onto, of course, the resolution shadow between Arteezy backing up and already used BKB. Blank Slither rush Arteezy in trouble, will fall. Resolution gets a triple kill despite being cyclone for half the fight. Arteezy has to buy back. S4 now in trouble. Split is done. Graves back up in seven seconds. I don't know if he'll survive that long. Assassinate Yoki getting low. He'll fall. Arteezy looking to peep some more heroes. Aloha dance. He'll be the target. Falls. Daedalus proc. S4 can't catch resolution. BKB down. He'll try to TP away. They can't find a telekinesis. Kroki not there in time. But Roche respawning in 15 seconds. Perfectly timed buyback coming out from Arteezy to turn that fight around. Yep, that'll do. They're just going to head to the racks at this point. Only two Let's heroes see. alive. No buyback yeah, for no all of them. Radiance all right, middle the right call. Are it's, under it's attack. always better to go for racks as soon as you're dire when you have opportunities like this. Radiance so people are like, oh, it's just take the easy one, fun. but you can always go back to Roshan when you're dire. Middle it's yeah. much harder to do on attack. Radiant. Like, if yeah. you're Radiant, sometimes Dyer's it's best to just go for the Roshan. Yeah. Attack. That's actually very interesting. I never really thought about it that way. Because that Roshan advantage from dire side easy to go back for. The Radiant team. Oh, Brasso on the resolution. He did BKB, but still in trouble. Swap out from one of Fly. And saves the Shadow Fiend. Now three down still. Line about to respawn, but this might be double racks. No Glyph, it was already used in that mid lane. And Empire, moments away from maybe splitting the series 1 1. Hook shot in. Yoki misses, hits a creep wave. Oh no, actually hit the illusion to Marteze. Yoki is about to fall. The play mill is up. Marteze got to keep him down. Finger on S4. Big grave from Puppy. The reaction time resolution. No BKB. Telekinesis. The split goes. Resolution about to fall. He does have buyback, but at this point, they've already lost two sets of racks. And even S4 corralling them into the well. And Secret are going to back away, probably head over to that Roshan, and mission accomplished for them.
Yep, job well done. I think they they played um, this game pretty well. There's a couple of mid-game blunders, but they still brought it back together in their lineup. Worked uh, pretty well. The Dazzle pick was really good. It's super good with Panda, and it makes sure that he can always get his split off. And also, the heal does a ton of damage with the when the Panda links are like on top of people. Mm -hmm. We actually saw a couple of heroes die through Shadow Wave alone. Yeah, the, the blue wings. Yeah, you get the AC or like the minus armor and the weave and does a ton of damage. Yeah, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Oh dear. Well, secret now backing away. Radiance they were trying to take Roshan. Is under attack. RTZ realizing that Empire are kind of desperate. They have to make plays. They back away from Roshan and. Uh, if, if one flight goes awry for Empire, the game is over, but they can always try to head into Roche and maybe try to take it. It's a ballsy play, but it's something. Broki looking for Telekinesis and Aloha Dance. He actually picked up the Invis rune. Three heroes bottom, two heroes near the Roche pit for Secret for what? Empire. It's true, is I, man? What's, what do we got? S4 has picked, played 31 heroes. On oh, I didn't see it! It was... Okay, hold on, we got a fight. Uh, Aloha Dance Invis. Lasso, they see him, they have the gem. Aloha Dance gets one shot by S4. Maybe even RTZ actually, yeah, he peeps him. Yule Scepter silent. MKB procs might be coming here in a moment. He also got a, a headshot proc, I believe. MKB going to work. BKB now down for silent. Split goes out. Resolution pops his BKB silent slow. Looks like the brew match will deal with him. RTZ getting chased down. RTZ's gonna get grave. Now it gets earned in flight. Resolution. MKB's telekinesis. He's about to fall. He will not have buyback. RTZ forced away. He'll hit from a long range. He gets actually earned up. Puppy keeping him alive. Puppy. The unsung hero, they take all five heroes down. Zywell bots top, and with no buyback, GG finally called for Empire. They just could not take that fight in secret. They split the series 1-1. One, one. That's the game. I'm glad uh, Empire brought it back and gave us a good game. That game was looking super ugly at the beginning. Five deaths for Yoki up into that top lane in the first five minutes of the game. Resolution going down 0 and 3 as well to Arteezy, but they had some really solid team fights up top. You think about that T1 tower when it got denied. Secret losing four and even five heroes at the end of it. But in the end, Arteezy sniper turns out to be just enough what they're looking for. 23, 5, and 21. Quite the stat line. And uh, PPD, any closing thoughts before we get out of here?